What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today the 3 and 4 Blazers are taking on the 4 and 4 Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. And before we get into anything else, um, there's going to be new Madden tomorrow and there's going to be a new MLB this show I think tomorrow night as well if I can get enough time after work to get that out. But anyway... If you guys are new from like the Dolphins franchise at all, uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, you know the new Madden's coming out. I know a lot of you guys are still wondering, like, okay, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? You know, all this stuff. So um, these are just some of my other series. None of these other, none. Of, the Madden's not going away. I'm gonna keep pushing forward on that, even though I did have a little bit of a mishap. So I'm gonna explain that in the next Madden video. Uh, what went on on the little mishap? Uh, let's just get it on to a little bit of recruiting. I'll give you guys a little bit of a background information of what's going on in the dynasty and everything else. So so far we've had a very up and down season. Um, we haven't won more than we've never had a, a legitimate winning streak. Uh, we're trying to fix our ways a little bit. We're three and four right now. Um, we're trying to avoid we're trying to at least make it to a bowl game and something that's kind of hard to do as far as you know this team goes I mean we're doing pretty good for ourselves but there's still a lot more work that has to be done and right now we're still trying to find ourselves as a, as a team like our offense is very good in the passing game but it sucks in the running game so it makes us very one-dimensional and our defense can't tackle anybody to save their lives no matter what they're doing like it's it's gonna be very evident even in, in this game today you're gonna see that and it's just even, win or lose you're gonna see some broken tackles and some poor defense being played and uh, I'm really trying to focus on the defense as far as um, recruiting goes but it's hard to get people who see that our defense and they're just like man we can't tackle for crap man and it's not it's not a good look for us so we got to do better on the defensive side of the ball um, not give up you know 50 points a game because obviously if we give up 50 points a game we're not really doing ourselves any favors uh, that means we probably have to score close to 60 if we even want a chance so if we want to win at least but anyway uh, you see some of the recruiter uh, recruits that we're looking at um, obviously uh, we don't really necessarily get the best players per se uh, we don't really need the best players anymore. Well, we don't need the best players. We just need players that can perform right now. And we need some depth. Uh, we've had a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot of injuries, but we've had a couple of injuries that have held us back a little bit. So having some depth is nice. And then later on, if, as soon as we build on that depth, then we can start looking at, um, you know, big time players. But we'll, we'll, take it, it's, we'll take it all in stride. We'll take it all in stride. But um, also, you guys get to see a look at the top 10. And uh, all the other good stuff around here in the uh, around college football, as you see, LSU Louisville's number thirteen. We're gonna take a look at the top twenty-five, and Texas A&M, Michigan, Washington round up the top three. Nebraska, Michigan State, Oklahoma, Alabama, Texas, Stanford, and Oregon round out the top ten, and that's a pretty good top ten. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. There's gonna be more on the way. And maybe some other NCAA action. I just found out like I can get Xbox Live again. But anyway, and I hope you guys enjoy the game against Middle Tennessee State, and I will see you then. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're just about set for Conference USA action. Warm-up's almost over, and kickoff is on the way. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime.
welcome back to UAB Stadium where the UAB Blazers are taking on the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. Say that three times fast. But anyway, uh, we are underway here as the kickoff is going off to Cunningham. Down at about the one and a half yard line. He's going to take it out to about the 17 yard line. He's not a great return, man. We got to get somebody better than that. But you see Jason Johnson, who at, at the beginning of the season has not did not start. But due to the injury of Justin Cutler, he came in, he stepped in a big role, and he has filled in those shoes and more to the point where when Justin Cutler came back off of his injury, we decided to keep Jason Johnson as the starter. So he's really proven himself on this team and in this conference and maybe even the college, all of college football, even though he's only like, what, a 76 overall. But he's still proven himself to be a very good quarterback. 28 touchdown passes, over two, almost 2,500 yards passing. If he stays healthy, this team is dangerous on offense. Uh, back when I had Justin Cutler, I can't really say the same about that. So um, we're gonna hope, we're hoping at least that you know Jason Johnson can stay healthy. But here's Jason Johnson on the read option. He's gonna take this one for about 17 yards and a UAB first down. He's doing more than just throwing the ball these days. He can run as well. So the next play, first and ten. We got a screen pass, and it's going to be caught by Ryan Marshall. He's running backwards, but he fumbles the football. That's not how we want to start things off. And that bites a little bit because we had a little bit of momentum on our side where we could get at least the first touchdown of the game, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So first and ten, Middle Tennessee State handoff to Daniels. Daniels getting the first down, shoves Bates down to the ground, and he picks up 14 yards on that stiff arm. Just Man, that was a powerful stiff arm. Second down and nine, 305 remaining here in the first. Here is their quarterback, Medlock, getting it off to Washington, and Washington gets about seven yards. But hold on, there's a flag on the play. There's a laundry on the field. Personal foul, face mask on Bates. Uh, that's our safety right there, man. He cannot. That was a dumb play. He could have done better. To, he could have done better at tackling and all that's good stuff. But no, he had to grab the face. You can't touch the face, man. You can't touch the face. So off to Drew Johnson right there for a pickup of nine and another UA, or Middle Tennessee State first down. Third down and goal. Under two to go in the first medlock. Looking for that screen, and they're going to get it just a couple of yards short of the end zone. So good defense by the UAB Blazers for once. And they're going to settle for a field goal right here to make it try and make it 3 nothing. And the kick is up, and it is good. So it's 3 nothing. Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. So here comes Jason Johnson again with that high octane offense and his nice and powerful arm so far this year. He gets a gain of 11 from Dan Allen over the middle. And that's something that, you know, Jason Johnson has gotten, you know, something that we've seen a lot of in this dynasty is just Jason Johnson throwing darts over the middle of the field and getting big play after big play. So 20 yard pickup right there from Zach Warren and another UAB first down. UAB. With a read option this time, Jason Johnson taking off, and he gets another good pickup right there of 16. This guy can run, he can throw, he can do it all. He's pretty much our offense. Jason Johnson throwing to Jason Johnson, not really, but he is, that's basically what it's like. He's the entire offense. So our offense lives and breathes off Jason Johnson right now. So third down and goal. They're going to do a read option, and this time we get stuffed short of the end zone. We actually lost a yard, and we're going to have to settle for a field goal as well to make it at least a tie game. So here's Brown with the, the three-point try, and it's good from downtown. It's now 3-3 as we're nearing halftime. Second down and 12 here from Middle Tennessee State. They got Medlock changing the play. He's dropping back. Looks over to the right side underneath to Johnson. Johnson picks up a first down and a little more. And, you know, he's doing pretty good. And, um, yeah, we got to keep going here with this. First and 10, try and play good defense. And that's not good defense. You see, oh my God. That stiff arm just shoved him to the ground and just did not, he just said no. Just said no, you can get away from me. So second down and eight. And here is Medlock again. Drops back, has a little bit of time. He gets it off to Martin and that's another first down for the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. As you see, Justin Martin is a little hurt. So he's gonna go to the sideline and get that boo-boo taken care of. So third down and three here. Here's Medlock changing the play again. Here he steps back, looks, looks, has time, end zone, touchdown, Middle Tennessee State, and that's wide on the catch, and it's now 
and we're nearing halftime. 152 left. Here's Johnson looking deep over the middle to Weiss. Weiss is a big target, guys. He's been doing pretty good on the offensive side as well. So we got to get him the ball. You know, they always say, you know, the hot give the ball to the hottest man, and he's been hot. You know, he get the get him the ball, please. So. We got two guys here that are just doing work on the offensive side. Here's Johnson again. Getting this one this time off to Zach Jones. I think uh, Matt Weiss needed a breather for a second there because he's been a workhorse on this drive. But Zach Jones does get 20 on that play. So first and goal here for the Blazers. Here is Jason Johnson looking underneath Zach Jones again. And he gets the touchdown. So it's now 10 to 10 nearing halftime. Second down and 10 here for Middle Tennessee State. They got their tight end in motion. Here's Medlock looking for the screen pass to Daniels. Daniels getting a first down and just a tad more, about an extra yard on that play. But second down and one here later on the drive. 41 seconds left here in the half. Here is Medlock with that pistol formation. Drops back, has time to throw all day, and he gets it off to Washington with a nice catch down the sidelines. Pick up of 20. Second and four here, 21 seconds left. And... Here's Medlock, dropping back, end zone, touchdown, Middle Tennessee State as Montgomery comes up with the catch, 27 yards out, 17 to 10, so now Middle Tennessee State starts with the ball in the third quarter, as you see, we almost came up with the play to make the stop on third down, but my defense can't tackle, and Medlock gets a game of 10, so meh, 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 second down and six here, here's Medlock again, drops back, looking, has time, and still has time. He has all day to throw, it seems like, if my defense can't put pressure on him. And he gets a pickup of ninth to Justin Heron. And, man, our defense is just looking like trash. It was doing good in the first quarter. Now it looks like trash. So Medlock over the middle to Johnson again. Gets the first down. And I, I, that could have been looked like a face mask there for a second. But I guess, uh, no, it, it wasn't. So first and 10 here for Middle Tennessee State once again. Looking to make this a 24 to 10 game handoff to McDaniel. McDaniel, oh my goodness, he is gone. Thank you for playing. Uh, he is breaking tackles like mad. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee State, 24 10. So now we get the ball finally to start the third quarter. So here's Johnson looking, has time over the middle, caught by Irvin, first down, UAB. But now we're playing from behind by at least two scores. So now things are starting to get a little bit more, you know. Tense. We gotta have a sense of urgency a little bit more. But now we have to get it off to Dan Allen, and Dan Allen gets the first down, gain of 12. He's been doing pretty good on the offensive side. Jason Johnson, of course, doing great, great work. So, uh, read option this time. Jason Johnson has room to run, takes it towards the sideline, and he gets a couple extra more yards. Uh, but he and he does get the first down. So the drive is still alive. Five carries, 49 yards for Jason Johnson. Sometimes you do have to run the ball when you're down by this much, even though it's like almost pass only mode. Sometimes a run would be nice just to throw them off. So that's what I do sometimes. I think I like to do that sometimes. I don't know if you guys do it too, but I, I like to do it. But Jason Johnson finishing off the drive with a touchdown, making it 24 17. So now first and 10 here for Middle Tennessee State. Still in the third quarter. This third quarter has been very high octane as far as the offensive side goes. As you see, another bad case of defense as Sean McDaniel picks up 13 on that play. And man, our defense could not look any worse than it is right now. We are just porous. Just porous. Just letting everything and anything just go. Just let them get off. But you see McDaniel again picking up 22 yards and in only four carries McDaniel has 72 yards and he's averaging 18 yards a carry that's that's like receiver type numbers almost but anyway McDaniel again getting that handoff getting the first down what does he do when he gets a handoff he gets first down that's what he does all day every day third down and seven here is Medlock in the shotgun we can hopefully make a stop here here's Medlock drops back looks and this one is caught by Wyatt and that's out of bounds for a pickup of 19 yards on the play and a first down for the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders. 30 seconds left here in the third. Here's Medlock changing the play. He's going to hand it up. Nope, he's going to take it himself. And that's a touchdown for Middle Tennessee State. So 31-17 as our defense continues to be porous and continues to suck. So 15 seconds left here. Play action. Here is Jason Johnson looking over the middle. Caught by Weiss and he is gone. Touchdown UAB Blazers. Yes, I called that early because, man, that there's no way. There's no way here. I was not going to let that happen. But anyway, it's now 31-24.
as now we're back within seven. But now we need to make a stop, and our defense hasn't been doing that this whole half. So here's Medlock again, and look at this. Just Bates, man, you're our best defensive player, and you can't tackle worth a, worth a damn. You're a safety. Safety's supposed to hit hard, man. Safeties are supposed to hit hard, and you ain't doing that, man. You're failing me. Third down and one here for Middle Tennessee State. Looks like they're going to try and finish off this drive. Medlock. Looking end zone. Touchdown again by Wyatt. It's now 38-24. This defense is just so porous. But later on, five minutes to go here in the quarter, in the final quarter at least. Here's Johnson looking. Marshall, and that's another touchdown, making it 38-31. We're scoring pretty quick, guys, because we want to make sure we don't fall too far behind and waste too much time. So we got to score quick. So first and 10 here. Medlock and uh, no, no defense being played whatsoever. Medlock taking that for a gain of 37. And, man, he's getting just as many rushing yards as the running backs. So we are playing like garbage on defense, of course. So second down and four here. And Medlock in that pistol formation. Handoff. Oh, he's going to take it himself. And that's another touchdown, making it 45-31. Just touchdowns left and right here in the second half. Isn't, isn't that just crazy? Isn't it just nuts? This is no no defense being played by both teams, but ours is just looking worse. So Johnson again looking deep, caught by Irvin, and guess what? Another touchdown. So now, well, actually there's a penalty, but it's an offsides on Middle Tennessee State. So that touchdown's still going to stand. So it's now 45-38 with just two and a half to go. Middle Tennessee State is probably going to win this game if we can't get a turnover on this drive. So um, we need something here, but that's not helping our cause. That's really not. So Jamie Young, gain of 22. Later on, it's third down and goal here from the four. And Justin <laughs> Medlock going to hand this off to Boyd. And Boyd gets it in for the touchdown. And it's now 52-38. And ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, your UAB Blazers are going to drop to 3-5 and five on the year. As Travis Medlock, man, 27 of 35, five total touchdowns, almost 300 yards passing. And, he almost, and I think he also had a, over 100 yards rushing. So... That is just awful defense by us. But we're going to come back next week against Marshall, and hopefully we can come out with a win and stay uh, within striking di distance of a bowl game. So I don't know. If you guys are really enjoying this series, make sure you guys drop a like, of course. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, there's going to be content pretty much, pretty much pushed out daily, so you guys can always see uh, a new video from me every day. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.